Hello everybody, my name is James, hope you're all doing well, and welcome back to another video. So that was an exciting qualifying, wasn't it? And in this video we're going to talk about it, as well as key talking points such as Red Bull's floor being revealed, an incident between Charles Leclerc and Lando Norris, and Mercedes' reaction to qualifying. Make sure to like the video, and subscribe for more Formula 1 content, but let's jump straight into the news. So let's start by talking about qualifying, and for me that was one of the best sessions I've ever seen. I mean the track evolution was so powerful, and times were tumbling in the same way they would if a wet track was turning dry. So it became a case of the later you left your lap, the better chance you had of being higher up the grid. And it did leave cars pretty jumbled up. Like at the end of Q1 for example, Yuki Tsunoda and Alex Albon were second and third. So on the whole it was great to see drivers going faster and faster. And at one point it even looked like Esteban Ocon was going to get pole, with him going fastest with a few minutes left of Q3. That was a fantastic lap, and one where it looked like he outperformed the car. But Charles Leclerc did then manage to go slightly faster, and then Fernando Alonso went even faster. And the time was so fast I thought it wasn't getting beaten, especially with Max Verstappen not having a great first two sectors on his last run. But that last sector was very good. I mean he found a few tents in just a few corners, which found him the time he needed to just beat Alonso to pole. Now there were also a few other talking points from qualifying. One being that Charles Leclerc is under investigation for allegedly impeding Lando Norris in the final stages of Q3. A replay of the incident showed Norris came across Leclerc going slowly in the middle of the track in the tunnel, so that could be a penalty for Leclerc, which would mean his misfortunes around Monaco continue. But you can't really argue if he does get a penalty. Like for me, he was in the way, which as a result forced Norris to abort his nap. And speaking about it, Norris said, he just blocked me. It's simple as that. There's one rule, don't slow down in the middle of the tunnel and that's what he did. Now on top of that, there was another incident involving Sergio Perez. Basically he crashed in Q1, with him sliding round the first corner before crashing heavily into the barrier. This completely wrecked his car and there was no way he could continue, which means he'll start the race from last place. He said, Going into the corner, I lost the rear end quite late into the corner. I became a passenger as it was so late, and I had nowhere to go. I couldn't cut the corner, or go out of the corner and I ended up in the wall. It's a big mistake from my side, and I'm very sorry for my team. Now it's going to be tough for Perez to do much in the race, given how hard it is to overtake. And it's a real blow to his title hopes. I mean, unless Max DNFs from the race, which I highly doubt he will, Perez is going to lose a whole load of points. And Rebel won't be happy. I mean, not only did he crash, but his car was lifted into the air to be moved, which completely exposed the floor. This is probably where the team are finding most of their downforce, and now rivals have had a chance to get a proper look at it. And it does look impressive. Like when Lewis Hamilton crashed in practice, we also saw his floor, and the underside of the W14 did not look as advanced as Red Bull's. Now as we know, Mercedes brought new upgrades to Monaco to help get them on the right development path, although they had an average session, going 6th and 8th fastest. Hamilton did say the car had been a handful, although explained he knew why. He added, We know why and it was a decision I had taken against everyone's judgement. I fought for something and it made it even harder probably. It definitely feels like it's going in the right direction. I don't think we're going to get a full read of something like the new sideboards until we get to Barcelona, where we'll see the car come more alive. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. But that's going to be the video from me today, thank you ever so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos, and until the next one, Take care.